Hi, my name is Sai Krishna and I'm with Developer Relations at Progress. In this video, I will go through briefly on what Data Direct Hybrid Data Pipeline is and how it can enable you to access on-premises data from any cloud. Later, I'll be demonstrating this scenario using an Oracle database, which is on-premise and will access the data from the cloud using Hybrid Data Pipeline and its on-premise data gateway technology. Hybrid Data Pipeline is a lightweight software service that provides simple, secure access to your cloud and on-premises data sources for your business intelligence tools and applications. Client applications can use ODBC, JDBC, or OData to access data from over 20 supported relational and non-relational systems such as Apache Hive, DB2, SQL Server, Oracle, and Salesforce, etc. There are three main components that you need to know when using hybrid data pipeline. Number one, the hybrid data pipeline server. This is the core component of the solution which provides access to multiple data sources through a unified interface. This can be installed in your cloud, on-premises, or in your DMZ, depending upon your use case. Second, the on-premises connector or the data gateway, which enables the hybrid data pipeline to establish a secure connection from cloud to an on-premises data source without requiring a VPN or SSH tunneling. Unlike them, our technology is engineered for the cloud to include a scalable architecture, access management, security, and data compression. Third, the clients. ODBC JDBC clients for hybrid data pipeline enables you to connect your on-premises data source from applications that support these standards. Apart from ODBC and JDBC, hybrid data pipeline also offers an ODATA REST interface to access your data from anywhere. Let me begin the demo by explaining how all these components are set up. First, we have the Oracle database, which is hosted in progress servers behind the firewall. Second, I have the Data Direct Hybrid Data Pipeline installed in EC2, which is not configured to be in our corporate network. Third, I have the on-premise connector installed in one of the machines behind the firewall, which will establish a secure connection to the HTTP server in the cloud to the on-premise Oracle database after installing Hybrid Data Pipeline, you'll be able to access the UI of the server in your browser where you can configure your data sources. You can create a new data source that you would want to connect to by clicking on the new data source button. Now, you can see all the data stores supported by Hybrid Data Pipeline. I'm going to use Oracle for this demo, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the Oracle Data Store. On the configuration page, I have filled out all the necessary connection parameters required to connect to Oracle database. Now, I'm going to go ahead and test the connection. And as you can see, it has failed to connect because the Oracle database is behind the progress firewall and HTTP server is unable to reach it. To connect to your database from hybrid data pipeline server in EC2, or any cloud, you need to install the DataDirect on-premise connector in one of the machines behind the firewall. This will enable a secure connection between hybrid data pipeline server and Oracle database. So, I installed the DataDirect on-premise connector on one of the machines in our progress network and authenticated with the hybrid data pipeline server in EC2. Also, I gave my connector a unique name for identification purposes. Let me check if everything is perfectly configured by going to the status tab. Looks like everything is perfect. Until this point, I was connected to progress network and I'm going to connect to the public network for the rest of the demo. Let's go back to the data source configuration page in hybrid data pipeline UI and configure the on-premise connector for Oracle data source. Under the connector ID, you can see the connector name that I have configured while installing the on-premise connector behind the firewall. I'm going to choose it and now retry the connection by clicking on the test connection button. And as you can see, hybrid data pipeline server 
is now able to communicate with the Oracle database that's on-premise with the help of secure channel established by the on-premise connector. Now, save the configuration by clicking on the Update button. You can now go ahead and use hybrid data pipelines, ODPC and JDPC drivers with your favorite tools to access the Oracle database, which is on-premise. Here, I'm using the JDBC driver with SQL Workbench, an open source tool to query the data. Apart from ODBC and JDBC drivers, you can also use the ODATA API produced by Hybrid Data Pipeline to access the Oracle data. If you have not heard of ODATA, it is an open protocol which allows the creation and consumption of queryable and interoperable REST APIs in a simple and standard way. It has been accepted as an OS standard and ISO approved. You can read more about this on odata.org. To enable odata, go to odata tab and click on configure schema. Choose your schema and choose all the tables that you want to expose through odata API. I'm going to choose the tables, albums, and artists for the purpose of the demo. Save the ODATA configuration and update the data source. If you go back to the ODATA tab, you should find the ODATA access URI. Copy the URI and paste it into your new tab and the browser will ask you for the login credentials for hybrid data pipeline. Fill in your credentials and you should see all the tables that are being exposed through the API. To access the data in the table albums, just navigate to that resource and you should be able to see all the data in the table albums. To learn more about ODATA protocol and how to use it, please visit odata.org. I hope this demo gave you a basic understanding on how you can leverage hybrid data pipeline to access on-premise databases. Feel free to download Hybrid Data Pipeline from our website. I have also listed a couple of tutorials for Azure and AWS in this slide to get started. If you want to use Google Cloud or the digital version, you can find the tutorials for these services on our website. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for showing interest in Hybrid Data Pipeline and watching this demo.